I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all my subscribers and viewers out there and thank you for joining in. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a Santa Claus. I'll do a nice little Santa Claus face for you for Christmas. Uh, might be a fun little painting to do. I'm going to make it as easy as I can for you, okay? Depends on the paint you're using. The paint I'm using is Dollar and Rowney. If you want to, I'll leave you a link, or you can go to my Amazon shop and find find some in there. Or I'll leave a link for you. I like these. I like the dollar roundy, and they're so easy to work with. And there's lots in the tube. And it doesn't dry up on you or anything. It's, I don't know. It's really good. I must say. It seems to last a long time. I've had those tubes a long time. You see all the videos I do. Yeah probably a year or more. I never thought about keeping track of how long I, I have my paints, but it's been a while. And and, it, and they are, um, this one is a brilliant red, 250 mil. Brilliant red, 250 mil. So, it's, it's almost still, there's a lot of paint left in it, but of course I don't use, I mean, it depends on how much paint you use too. Um, you use a lot of white. White is the one that you go through the most. Now you can shape up that head after you have it drawn if you don't like the way it was shaped, okay? And shape it up. All right. See? So now you start at the easiest part of the painting first. Look at the painting that your picture you're trying to paint and pick out, once you get it drawn out, pick out the part that you think, which is a big area. So look at your big areas of color and paint them in first and paint in the basic color. Good. I'll do the other one. There we go. And on the nose. It's more orangey. I don't know on the video it looks kind of reddish, but it's more orangey. It's too red. Just add some yellow. Just add some yellow to it. Nice rosy cheeks. Good. Then you can take some white on the same brush. I just dipped it in, I didn't bother with uh, cleaning it. Some white, and I'm just going to add a few highlights to that cheek. A little highlight there, a little highlight on the nose, and a little highlight on the other cheek. Now, that's that much. Flippy ones. Oh. Whatever works, hey. Just fill in some space that you think might need it. Need extra white, just tap on a little bit of white. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else. Um, you see something else, you can continue and, and uh, add shadows or shadings or, you know, whatever you think it needs. Not sure if I could put a little bit around the eye here. 
little bit definition. So I think I'm going to leave that. I think that looks pretty good. You know, you can, like say, do some touch-ups yourself. Add some highlights where you think they need them, if you need a bit of highlight in here. So we can have some shadows going on. I'm going to give this one over here a little bit of that same color with some harmony. And some grid. So you got the shadow and then I got a highlight. So I'll clean my brush really good and I'm going to do finish some of the hat. I'm going to clean your brush or get a clean or get a new brush and we will put in some of this here little furry hat a little bit of blue a little bit of white okay and then we'll put that in here I'm gonna tap that on give it a fluffy look see how it gives it a fluffy look What I'm trying to do is put green on one side and yellow on the other, and I'm going to touch. Let's put one right here. The yellow side out, inside or outside, and touch, pull, and lift and twist. Okay. So green and yellow. 
crouch, pull, lift, and twist. Well, you can do whatever way is easy for you. Don't worry about it. That's just the way I'm showing you. I thought it'd be easy. Touch, pull, lift, and twist. Okay, yellow. Touch, pull, lift, twist. Like you say, you find this hard, you do it whatever way you find it easy. I'm just touching my brush down on chisel edge. I'm pushing down, pushing, pushing, pushing. And I'm pulling, and then I'm lifting, and I'm twisting. Or it could be stars, snow or stars, whatever you want. I think that will do. I stand back and look at it and then I just see if there's any little touch-ups I want to do and just little tiny things I think might enhance the painting. You don't want to do too much because if you, if you do too much something could get messed up and then you end up having to do a lot of it over again so just pick a few little spots here and there for highlights and then throw your brush down and say I'm not going to touch it anymore well there it is our cute little Christmas owls so I'd like for you to try this one and Merry Christmas to everybody and I'll see you in the next video happy painting everybody and Merry Christmas bye So I got lots of nice tones of threads. Now, good job. Now what I'm gonna do for the white, I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit there. What I'm gonna do for the white, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in with a blue color. This will be the underpainting for the whites, okay? Because we need shadow, and this is going to be the easiest and best way to do the shadows in the white. There we go, this nice color blue. Give that a little bit of red to it if you want. Whoops, that's too much. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that, I said. I'm trying to get a blue. That's better trying to get a bit of a blue with a little bit of a purplish color to it. There we go, that's better. At least I showed you my mistakes. Now, here we go, we'll just see that's a darker white, right? When you put white on top of that, your white will pop. Trying to tell you 
everything I possibly can that I don't see in, in other videos because a lot of my time lapse. I do have some time lapse ones, but all my time lapse ones have the full tutorial. Okay? So if you find a time lapse video belong to me, then you're going to have a, a link. And if I didn't put a link in it, because it could have been an older video. If I didn't put a link, just email me and I'll give you the link to the full tutorial. And so you can tell what the artist is doing. Time-lapse seem to be quite popular. So I'm throwing in some time-lapse. I've, I've had some there anyway, but I um, thought I would add some more because people seem to be interested in those. Sometimes it's just nice to sit back and watch the artists and see what they do. So a nice orangey face now. You could splatter, but it might come out to be too much. So we'll just, uh, these little dots of snow on here. It's the safest way to do this one. And then you can control how much you want down there. A little bit of snow makes it look so cute. Little bits and big bits. So make sure they're different sizes. So some are bigger than others. Just a, a matter of putting on extra paint on your toothpick. There we go. Put on whatever you want. Can, can't be too much because snowflakes are very, there's a lot of them. Isn't that cute? So that's a cute little painting. So I have lots of uh, winter and Christmas paintings there for you to choose from so you can have some fun with it and then I'll be doing some more holiday paintings coming up and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you very much everybody and have a merry merry Christmas and a happy new year. Bye. See, that's nice, look. See that? You can use that for sure. I just love the, the fan brush, see? But you don't, I just love the fan brush, see? Right, so you don't have to do everything that I do, but use whatever brushes work for you. I do like those blobs there. I don't wanna waste those. I like those. Let's see. I want to fill in a little more space up here. I'm just going to twirl my brush a little bit. Get some of that extra snow going on there. Touch and twirl. Looks like I missed a bit of red there too. All right. So that's good. At least I can see it. At least I caught it. Hey. Same with here, I think I need to bring the red in a bit more. Need more white. So I'll get a pure black.
add some more after now. Getting there. With my bristle brush, I'm going to add a bit of snow. So I'm going to add a bit of snow here. Just little taps, all right? Just a little bit of tap. I don't want it to be even or anything. It's just sort of accumulating around the window there. All right. So you just need a round brush. Just put those colors on the tree, that's all. I really need a bit of color back there. So just some red dots of red on the strings, okay? And then some yellows and greens and whatever colors you want, see? See how that spruces it up a little bit more? Right. 